All right, are you ready to do this? <laughs> Today's the day. I'm so excited to finally announce to you guys that I've partnered with a company for 2023 that's had roots in BMX since the beginning of time, some of the first in freestyle, and I am just so thankful to finally be a part of this program. Let's move that box, let's do it's this. none other than Mongoose oh, wow. Bikes, baby. And check out this brand new frame. This is the Kevin Praza signature frame, the La Familia frame. So. After tons of speculation since I've built my all black bike, I've gotten endless comments of people just trying to guess what frame I've been riding. And guys, it's been a Mongoose La Familia frame since the start and they've sent me out a fresh one with stickers on it. So yeah, it's good to finally <laughs> see the bike with stickers. Dude, and the stickers are sick yeah, on it, It's by an the way, awesome so frame, it looks great. I'm it's just so happy that I could finally show you guys because this is huge for me and I'm just so thankful for the opportunity to ride more bikes in 2023. Like, because this the truth is, so is awesome. it's not just this BMX bike that Maddie's going to be riding. No. Maddie partnered with Mongoose, and he's going to be riding all different kind of <laughs> Mongoose bikes. Because Ma Maddie rides a ton of bikes, so many different bikes. That's and true. I we're going to explain exactly what's going on today. We're going to tell everybody exactly what the game plan is for Maddie for 2023 with Mongoose and this partnership right here. Yeah. But the truth is, yeah. This BMX bike is going to be a huge part of it because that's what we do. We're BMX riders at heart, but, <laughs> but there's a lot more that Maddie does than BMX. So let's talk about just the way the bike rode because you've been riding this bike for like four or five months now. Yeah. Um, it's been awesome. I remember as soon as you got the bike, the you were day. super <laughs> excited about the way the back end felt. You, you thought the bike rode really, really well. And the truth is, like everybody's been talking about, you tr finally like learning how to manual. I think we figured out <laughs> yeah, what the answer was. A little the difference time. in the back end went a really long way. So since I've built this bike up, um, when I saw the geometry on it, it was perfect. And then once I built it, I felt like uh, just kind of like a new person. Like the bike just felt so refreshing and it's nice, everything man. that I've wanted to ride for a really long time. Oh. Like steeper head tube, shorter back end, higher standover, you name it, it's got it. And uh, I think it's resulted in me doing plenty more tail whips. And let's also. talk about, I mean, the rider who this bike was designed by. One of our favorite people in the world of BMX, Kevin Peraza. Amazing rider. You've seen all of his video parts. You've seen everything that he's done. He has pushed street riding in BMX in his own way by far. Like, his style is yeah. like no one else is out there. He is such a special kind of rider. When he touches that bike, you know that nobody else is going to be riding like him. And it goes to show, man, he really knows what he's doing when he designs bikes because it's carrying over on Maddie already. Yeah. And uh, this is really cool. You should be very proud to be riding that bike. I am. Love it. Dude. So we're going to be building this thing up today, but let's talk about uh, the other bikes that are uh, behind you right now. We have six of them that Mongoose has already sent Maddie, <laughs> which is crazy. crazy. Yeah. Insane. So, I mean, a lot of you know that Maddie's been riding this fireball right here. This is the dirt jumper. The bike has been so good to Maddie. He's uh, changed a couple of parts on it, you know, just because he made it customizable to really, what he it. wants. Yep, it's, made um, a more comfortable. it's been really, really cool. It's hard to actually keep him off of this bike when we're going to skate park instead of riding his BMX bike and he just loves the way this thing flows and it's his first dirt jumper he ever owned so but why don't you tell everybody I mean what your game plan is it's not like you just have this bike just because like there's actually some rhyme or reason to it so coming along with this whole partnership with Mongoose is the idea that we're trying to ride as many bikes throughout the year as we possibly can so with that dirt jumper I made it a goal of mine to ride a dirt jump contest this year and like that's gonna be cool I'm dead set on that I'm really not kidding guys I'm going to ride a dirt jump contest this year i've gotten a bunch of people reaching out to me kind of telling me about some events that are going on and maddie whatever. would prefer if there was more people that did that yeah. if anybody has any if information you have any other events going on please let me know because i don't really know where to look i know nothing about that side of things so i don't really understand where to look or how to sign up I mean, Mongoose also sent Maddie like this fat tire bike. Like, I don't know what we're going to be able to do with this thing, but we're definitely going to be having fun with it. I mean, you all know that he got the Super Goose recently. He did that awesome video that everybody loved, by the way. One of my favorite bikes. Everybody right was so amped up on that I, video. I was so happy to see that because mm -hmm. you could feel the joy while I ride this bike. I'm just glad everyone appreciated it. Yeah, you no, know? It's, it's an awesome bike. And, <laughs> it's too and cool. the, the 80s of BMX, like that error needs to be talked about as much as possible. Yeah. And, uh, and I'm just glad that we were able to do it on this channel. I really am proud of that. So. Let's uh, move on to the next bike because I think this one's a really, really important bike to you right here. So why don't you tell everybody what this thing is? So as you all know, I've been really into gravel racing and for now on, this is the bike that I'm going to be doing it on. So this is the Mongoose Guide Sport and uh, this is part of their adventure touring bikes. Um, this thing is ready to be taken off road and ready for any adventure that you could possibly bring this thing on. It's got more mounting points, more gears. 
everything is set up. I really like the color, by the yeah, way. Yeah, and like the color the, is that, sick. That the brown fade, fade is so yeah. sick. Really cool, like a like Coca Cola color. That's down here. really up your alley. Yeah, like, and it's that's sweet. like Maddie's like ultimate paint color right there. He that's, he would be all about that. Yeah, trying and to find then, somebody to powder coat that for him. Oh whatever. yeah, all right. <laughs> One of my favorite parts about it too is there's actually this built-in bag. So this is a bag that you can put all your food, snacks, phone, you name it inside, mm -hmm. which I have on my current bike. But this one is bolted internally wow. through the bag. So it's seamless. There's no straps that you have to deal with, nothing you have to deal with, which I don't, I just thought it looks cool on it. And I'm just really excited to use this bike. Yeah. And speaking of using the bike, guys. Are you going to announce it right now? I think it's going to be You time. know if you announce it, it's going to be hard to not, to, it, right? not to do it. <laughs> So I brought this uh, idea up to Scott very recently that um, now that I have this new bike, I've never ridden it yet. I'm going to get on this bike and I'm going to ride out into the middle of nowhere in the Everglades and ride 100 miles, <laughs> which is my longest gravel ride I've ever done in my life. If I complete it, <laughs> and I better complete it, man, because <laughs> yeah. there's no turning back at that point, man. The goal is to ride from the Picayune State Forest all the way into this place called the Shark River Tower, which is this giant lookout tower that looks over the Everglades. And I'm going to be riding through the back roads with the panthers, with the black bears, with the snakes, yeah. with the lizards, with did we say alligators? I don't think you did. I didn't say alligators. Yeah. Alligators. Definitely I just figured that was there. a given. But uh, and who like, I'm all not knows kidding. what else like, is out there, man? No, like, and that's I haven't seen all these things yet, but I've seen the photos and I've seen the poop. Yeah, yeah I can did. confirm that and these animals are out there. The preparation is going to be serious for this. Like this is going to be no joke. It's Maddie's going to have to really <laughs> yeah. think about how this is going to go down. Yeah. And we're going to keep you uh, informed along the way so he can uh, come up with the game plan. But it's yeah. going to happen kind ASAP. of soon. Like, like it's going to happen ASAP. <laughs> really soon. And we're going to go over all the details to it. But that's going to be really, so this really gonna get, exciting. Get a real good break yeah, in it. Is. Literally exactly as is. I'm not changing one part. So on you're it. just running this thing. I'm that's not changing cool. one thing. The I, only thing I've put is I've put the stem down. Okay, that's it. But that's, that's <laughs> I mean, that's so as is. Get really on it and go it. ride 100 miles. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> that, that's going to be wild to see. Yeah, I'm really excited. Cool. Moving down the line, we have a mountain bike right here, dual suspension. So what's the deal with this bike? Well, I finally got a fun bike. So this is a full suspension 29 inch mountain bike. This is the Mongoose Salvo Comp. So um, basically, it's like a trail bike. It's ready to go fast, jump off of stuff, mm. and uh, I think once we uh, finally get your bike ready, we could go have a good time yeah, in the trails. Speaking of, man, we're having some problems with that. <laughs> Don't want right? to talk about it. We're not going to talk about it today. We'll bring subject, it up in the future, but it's not together yet. Let's yeah, just say it's that. It's got everything you can want on it, plenty of travel. So, and so this, like, you'll just... bring to... You know, to, yeah, I could to go the to Markham jumps, right? To Markham and, and go, stuff? I could jump a jump, or I could go jump off of something mm. and not have to worry about it you know, being broken. So there's no carbon fiber that I have to worry about. Like I could just go beat the crap out of it. Yeah. So I'm really That's excited. That's going to be fun. That yeah. really is going to be fun. Maybe go do some street stuff on it too. That, would, that would be really <laughs> cool too. Yeah. So that's an awesome bike. And the last bike over here, this is the Mongoose Hooligan. The Mongoose Hooligan. This, this is like a 20, 29 inch style BMX bike. Um, this is just going to be Pretty a fun really bike to cruise bike, around cruise on. Bike, grocery getter, yeah. you name it. This is like the bike that the old man rode on in Rad. I know I brought that up like in two recent videos, <laughs> yeah. but it literally reminds me of it big time. So this is going to be a fun bike to mess yeah. around with. But like I said, he just recently uh, did this deal with Mongoose, which is so cool. And he's got six bikes. Well, seven if you include that BMX bike. And uh, I don't know. It just seems like there's even more to be. way too excited. <laughs> yeah, that, it's, it's just so cool. I mean, you have such an awesome opportunity now with a, an iconic so bike brand. Yeah, you know, I'm, seriously. I'm so thankful to everyone at uh, Mongoose for doing this for me and helping me out and I, I just can't wait to see what this year is going to hold for us riding bikes yeah like, this could be a, a, lo cool. a lot yeah. of different stuff going on with all these bikes we have super to film videos on yeah. you know this is fun it is going to be fun so let's go jump off of stuff so we're going to continue on with the video because the truth is maddie's going to be building up this mongoose la familia today and while maddie's building it up we're going to speed it up for you and we're going to tell you a little bit more about the frame and uh, all the geometry and whatnot. And then once it's all built, Maddie is going to uh, hopefully do something pretty Attempt cool. The unthinkable. <laughs> something that we've always wanted to do here and we'll tell you at the end. <laughs> it's finally time. <laughs> so let's start building my brand new La Familia V2, Kevin Peraza's signature frame. We will start with the name La Familia, which is paying homage to this Mexican heritage and his family that he's very close with. 
His family is a true BMX family, where his father and three brothers are BMX riders. And all of them have their own individual style and version of BMX that they are super passionate about. But not just the specs and geometry were chosen by Kevin. He also designed all the graphics on the frame. These stickers look so good and they're definitely stickers that you're going to want to keep on your frame. But let's talk about the geometry of the La Familia. This frame comes in one size, which the top tube is 20.75, which is a great in-between size that majority of riders prefer. The chainstay is 13 inches long, which is also a great in-between size. Now the head tube angle is 75 and a half degrees, which is on the steeper side. The steeper head tube angle will allow the bike to have a sharper turn radius and theoretically can help you with nose manual tricks. I guess it makes sense, considering all the amazing nose wheelie variations that Kevin does. The seat tube angle is 71 degrees, which is pretty common in modern day BMX. The frame is made out of heat treated, double butted 4130 chromoly tubing with internal top tube and external down tube gussets, external machine seat tubes with integrated seat clamps, and dent resistant chainstays, which is such a great feature in the current style of BMX. It has removable brake hardware, which makes it easy to use your setup of choice. But one of my favorite features is the integrated chain tensioners in the dropouts for added convenience and keeping your wheel centered and secure. This is a well-built, durable frame that weighs in at 5 pounds and 1 ounce, and I'm so proud to say that I have had zero issues with this frame in the last 6 months of riding it. So, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This has been one of the worst bike builds that I've ever done. Not only does building a bike on the ground suck, but when you were dealing with old parts and transferring them to a new frame, you could run into some problems and I have a big problem that's driving me crazy. I can't get the snafu cranks off of my profile titanium spindle. I've tried everything and I'm forced to cut through the spindle and put a pair of old cranks on. Now I'm going to finish the build and I'll just skip to the point where I debut my new bike and attempt my first trick on it. So it definitely wasn't the easiest bike build. But it is actually done. But it's built, Scott. Yeah. That's all that matters. What was the casualties here? Like, what do you have to change, you think? Um, pretty much everything. It's really uh, that big? I beat that last bike up. I'm not going to lie. That thing was screaming in pain. And uh, I need to call up Brooklyn ASAP and get, like, everything freshened <laughs> up. Um, just nothing was going together. And th I put that hammer to work. Frame looks nice, though. No, it looks great. I really love the stickers. I think the stickers are so good yeah, on it. I'm I can't try wait to get some like you... gold stuff or something. Yeah, right? even just getting rid of these, just putting some more quiet pedals, <laughs> some more quiet grips on. Like yeah. I like the white seat. I think yeah. the white seat I'll goes keep really the seat. well. I like it a lot. Yeah, the white seat's good. I'm but... trying like a Scotch Bright it. But yeah, it could see work. What I could do. But I just think it's it's a it's a nice combo already. So yeah, it looks awesome. I'm well, stoked yeah, like it, I said, so. definitely a miserable bike build, but got to definitely iron things out. And we are going to uh, we're going to try to do something pretty epic right now. Pool party, Scott. Since we got this house. Uh, there's a pool back here. Not the biggest pool out there. I've been mean, wanting somebody to be able to jump this thing. And uh, yeah, time's now. We're going to go for this one. The goal is to get Matt to come flying around that corner over there. And then he is going to jump over this pool, land over there safely. Hopefully, we'll test out the bike, test out the brakes, see if you take out the <laughs> other bikes that are over there waiting. Yeah. This is just lined up for chaos right now. This it is, is going to be bad. This is going to be fun. Uh, can you imagine my chain snapped or something? That would yeah. suck. Well, just if you time it right, could could be easy. Could be all right. Dang. All right. Let's keep, keep okay. it dry, I guess. Do some run-ups. <laughs> see how it is. All right. Here he comes around the corner. Yes! I am just way too soaked to be riding with such a legendary company and honestly it just feels like a dream come true. So make sure you go follow all the Mongoose pages on social media and if you want to get your hands on either a La Familia frame or maybe one of these other crazy bikes, then head over to mongoose.com and get yourself something sweet. So hope you guys enjoyed this and uh, get ready for more videos to come with all these sweet bikes. So once again, I just want to say how proud I am of my little brother. And it's going to be really cool to see all that he gets into this year with these opportunities from it. But I just wanted to go out there and just let you all know so there's no confusion. I have no affiliation with Mongoose Bicycles. My little brother did partner with them and you will be seeing Mongooses on the channel moving forward this year. But I just want to let you all know that it's out of support for my little brother. I've been a fan of Mongoose for years. My first real BMX bike was a Mongoose Menace that I got for Christmas in 1994. So yes, my roots are are deep with mongoose and i definitely think they are an awesome company and i'm excited to have them more on the channel this year but I just wanted to let you all know so there's no confusion just get ready for this crazy ride that maddie's gonna do we're gonna lay it all out for you and he's probably gonna get it done within like a week or so so it's gonna be ridiculous but either way hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one peace